Hi guys, um, today I am going to demonstrate how do I insulate my greenhouse during the winter time to save energy and um, electricity bill. So the things you need, this is the spring lock base where I put my, um, uh, fasten my uh, plastic film. This is a special film. So this is, <coughs> this is the base. It's aluminum base and you put the plastic here in between this is spring and the base and then you lock it like this that's very easy so the films lock between these two things so and um, even in high wind it doesn't affect anything it is stay steady so you need this I already <clears throat> if you see on the base here I already um, fasten this one around all the greenhouse and this is gonna be here in the front like this so this is the door which I open during the summer time so I um, take this out in the summer time so you need this one this is a, a special film this is thermal film this is 6 mm uh, ml thick and I will cover the whole thing up and before I cover it up I use this uh, insulation board this is half inch thick and um, add like nice reflector so light will reflect and go inside so I will put this film uh, on the south uh, sorry on the north and west side so light always come from the south and east so I will cover this up so it will try to uh, keep the temperature down inside the greenhouse um, keep, keep the temperature and uh, keep it warm inside the greenhouse so let us start with this and um, for this one I use uh, this gorilla tape this is a very nice tape um, even in like minus 20 minus 30 it doesn't uh, come off and uh, for the for this thermal film I use this special greenhouse this is clear tape yeah, this is white paper you can peel it off right and or this gorilla tape this clear tape wherever you wanna make the joints together or um, use the film uh, use a tape on the film so I use the clear clear tape on the film so these are gorilla tape or special greenhouse tape um, they can stay in until like minus 30 minus 40 temperature doesn't come off so these things you need a cutter um, garden gloves and drill machine so uh, or electric screwdriver you have to fasten those with this screw. So let's just start with this. Uh, okay, so this insulation board you can buy from any Home Depot, Lowe's, or any uh, home store, uh, home improvement center. So I bought this uh, eight by four, half inch thick insulation board. It has insulation on both sides, like this. Uh, um, reflecting port uh, and it was like $12 for one board so I bought uh, three boards for uh, $36 plus tax around $40 today is a little bit windy I would um, suggest you to do this when the, there is no wind or little wind but the temperatures are going down next few days so that's why I have no choice so I have to do it today this is uh, before uh, insulating the greenhouse you can see this is the west side and this is the south side and this is how bright it is before the insulation this is the south side it's a sunny day so lots of sunshine and plants are happy so I'm 
I'm going to um, put this board over the top of this um, uh, spring lock base here, like this, and then uh, I'll put this gorilla tape on it. second one on the back and then we will do in the middle So as you can see, now it's nicely standing here, so then I will do it here, and, uh, on all, every, after every two feet. You can see this frame is after every two feet, so this is a um, good distance to hold. Spring log would be here, so it will hold it. Well, you can do it after like four feet, three, three or four times. These are the sign from the last year so I'm just putting them exactly on the same location north side which is done now I'm uh, going to do the west side okay so this is the west side I already trim it down you can see the corner then I see trim down so I'm gonna stick this one
this is again after every two feet So this is sufficient enough because the film will cover the whole thing and it will keep it in the same place. So after the insulation you see this, these insulation boards are here on the north and on the west side. So it's a little bit darker but because the plants are in dormancy they don't need really light but still have daylight and they should be fine for the whole, se the whole season of the winter okay so now i'm gonna um, fasten that um, spring lock tube um, where the base is this is the screw I am using. This will hold. This is a self-threading screw. It's a self-threading screw, so it will make its own way. screws I am putting about one feet uh, distance Now we can tie all of these because they all are all <coughs> the cover over the greenhouse and uh, then we're gonna lock with the spring lock it's a bit windy so I have put the other side already I clipped the other side so this side I'm gonna start 
shut like this and then you can pull it up make it straight and then put that spring lock on the place of this thing and then I will show you how did I did the whole thing okay guys so I have uh, insulated the full uh, cover on it you can see this is the spring lock I put it on so this all is nicely fastened and this is the back side nicely fastened and you can see the board behind the plastic is sticking nicely now especially this side this side have a curve so the plastic is pushing it towards the wall so this is all done with the spring locks I left some place at front so the door is not locked so I can go in and out so you can see like that you can go in and now you can see it's more warmer now because the vents are closed now and um, the fresh air only can come from the door so this is still bright the top layer is still bright but the bottom you see here is more darker now but that's okay plants are in rest and in their dormancy period so you don't need really bright light hope this video will help you guys and um, if you think anything uh, like improvement or um, anything lacking or any suggestions uh, please comment below